Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Thanksgiving edition part two, sponsored part by Danos. Let's go. Dude, part up, two sponsored again. Dude, this guy's going on a roll. roll. Six, King's Hawaiian. We had these Hawaiian rolls as a side for Thanksgiving dinner. Ooh. I'm going to use two of them Two today of them is much smarter. I like that. All right, now for our first leftovers roll. Nine, mashed potatoes. I see your starch, and I raise you another starch. I've definitely done this on I'm Thanksgiving with before. I'm with a it. A little mashed potatoes, a little gravy on some bread. Can't go wrong. Yep. All right, let's hit it with some more leftovers. Three, dark meat turkey. I I'm with All it. Right, dark meat is my I'm, I'm still here. You have me. I shredded it up for this sandwich to try to get an even layer. Next up, let's hit it with our first wild magic roll. Ten more leftovers. All right, Ooh. let's roll on that table again. Eleven carrots. Oh, right, you're losing me. Candied carrots that my mom made. Oh, you Cinnamon, lost me. Butter, pecans, some onions. You They're pretty good, lost even if they me. Were rolling off the mountain of food. You're gonna need to get gravy or something. If you get gravy, right, you can save it. Some more wild magic. Four, canberry sauce. Yes, I said canberry. It's cranberry sauce, but it's specifically the can. Which one's better though? Gelatin Chat. kind. Rather the than can cranberry relish or homemade on the list. You either love or hate this stuff. I'm just saying. I personally like it, though. I think it's better than homemade. Really call it a sauce, but I think the homemade one is is and legitimately now for the worse. Sauce roll. Eight Wickles spicy red. This is a spicy pickled pepper relish, which I think will be an interesting accent to the cranberry sauce. It's taking it a little away from the traditional Thanksgiving flavors, but I don't think that'll be a bad thing. All right, well, two of our Dano's low sodium, no calorie seasonings remain, so we're gonna flip a coin: heads or tails. Here we go. All right, it's tails. So we're gonna go with spicy Danos today, and we'll use the other one tomorrow. The spicy version is like the original everyday seasoning. Oh, he's got three sponsors from that. Holy get a nice heat without making it too overpowering. All right, let's get our sandwich topped off here and get our toothpicks in to hold it together as best we can. And let's get it cut in half. And down the middle, so you technically get two of them. Oh, and that's the line. We're let's evolving. Take a look at that cross section. That actually looks like a good Thanksgiving All right. sandwich. Hold them together. All right, Thanksgiving leftover sandwich number two. Hopefully it doesn't all fall apart. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, this is not bad at all. The cranberry sauce has a good acidity, but also one. sweetness, which pairs great with the spicy relish and the spicy seasoning. I think this one earns a 9.6. And I'm going to call it the Phoenix. That's a little higher than Thanks I would again go. Thanks to Danos for sponsoring this episode, and I'll see you tomorrow for part three. Part three, still sponsored. Guys, killing it. D&D, TikTok, and beyond. And welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Thanksgiving edition, part three, sponsored by Danos. Let's go. First up, let's roll for bread. Three, rye bread. Toasting was definitely the way to go for structural integrity on Monday. I don't think I like rye bread. Again today. All right, here's our first leftovers roll. I don't know. Three, dark meat turkey. All right, not mad about dark meat turkey again. I shredded it up because that seemed to work well yesterday. So far, so good. All right, on to our second leftovers roll. Eight, stuffing. Well, I had my mother's carrots yesterday, and now I have my grandmother's stuffing. It'll be a nice way to pack in even more of that turkey flavor, but it's also adding more bread to I'm my not a big bread. stuffing guy, but... All right, on to our first wild magic roll. Three fresh mozzarella. Oh. All right, this mild and moist cheese will be a great oh. addition to the sandwich, giving it a little savory and salty. Okay, hot take. I actually don't like the mozzarella when it's in water. You know, like the ones that are in water. It's the same same texture. That mozzarella is good, but whenever it's put in water, it gets really, really, really gross to me. I love mozzarella, but the 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 fresh made mozzarella in the water, I can't do it. It, it freaks me out. Without the beard, everything is coming like up Millhouse so far. All right, and our second wild magical. Here we go. Eleven, the moist maker. All right. Well, if you're unaware of what the moist oh, maker is, oh gravy a to an episode of Friends. The episode describes a sandwich in which you add a piece of bread soaked in gravy to it to moisten it up. So I've got a third slice of my rye bread here, untoasted and sufficiently soaked and covered in gravy. Adding it to the sandwich here. I think this will be good to balance out a little bit of the dryness maybe brought in by the stuffing, but also I'm adding even more bread now to this sandwich. 
All right, and let's see what kind of sauce we're gonna put on it. 10, yellow mustard. Simple and basic, but sometimes that's all you need. This will bring in the acid we've been missing, and I think it'll be a great addition. All right, and finally we have our Danos. Since we only have one flavor left, I'm gonna be rolling a D1. Why would you do that? Jake, what is a D1, you might ask? Simple, this is D1 I'm going to be using. It's Danos low sodium, no calorie, everything bagel seasoning. This will be nice to add a little bit of sea salt, garlic, onion powder, and a little crunch from the sesame seeds. All right, let's get our top piece of bread onto this bread stack. Get our toothpicks in there to hold everything together, and let's get it cut in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. Okay, I'm into it. Well, here we go. The last of the Thanksgiving special sandwiches. Let's give it a taste. All right, well, even though there is a lot of bread, the flavor really shines through on this one. Turkey, gravy, stuffing, what's not to like? You've got the cheese and the mustard that just takes it over the top. This one is easily a 10 out of 10. And I'm gonna call it the pure bread because it basically is all bread. Thanks again to Dano's for sponsoring these three episodes. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again on Friday. My, my whole core is just shocked. I, I don't even know what to say at this point. What? <laughs> What? What did I just watch? What? What the was the the? They just they just soaked the bread and then used it as a piece of like a con like a like a piece of meat, and then it ended up as a ten. The worst part is, I think I want to try it. I I actually think that looks not that bad. I thought that actually didn't look that bad, and I don't know if that's my brain just being like, you know, you know, like the, what is it? It's like Call of the Void or whatever, like the the un like the, the 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 thoughts of like what would happen if you swerved off the road or something. You know what I'm talking about? Like, there's like a theory for it, or I forget what it's called, but it's like I don't know if it's that for this or 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 what. I, I don't know. I actually have no clue. Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm gonna to be using these custom resin dice made for me by Maple Moth Dice. They used the Roll for Sandwich formula to roll for each element of the dice. And this is the final result. Check out the video in the description. All right, first up, let's roll for bread. Not sponsored Six, video. Japanese milk bread. Japanese milk bread, or shokupan, is a soft, sweet, these fluffy bread made with milk instead of water. This loaf comes from White Wolf Bakery in Clawson, Michigan. I actually want right, to try that. That looks really good. 10, egg. It's fried egg, fried egg. Gotta get down on fried Oh egg. no. Getting my two eggs with runny yolk on here with the soft God, white chocolate pan. It's on track to be a great- How many of you were alive when Friday was like the hit song for like, how long was that? Like three months? The universe, I don't think ever recovered from that. I'm sure most, I'm sure most people, my audience is typically older, so most of you probably were. But if you were not, though, and you want to truly experience true hell, look up Rebecca Black's Friday. Put it on repeat and leave it somewhere. And either one of two things are going to happen. You're going to go insane or someone's going to come out of, like, somewhere you didn't expect and try to break whatever it's playing on. Can't explain it. Just how the universe works. Great breakfast sandwich. Rob, we'll thank you for the five gifts, by the way. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much, Next man. Up, get some. She said thank you. Six provolone. Provolone's in fire. All right, we'll I place a couple of slices of the provolone on top of our art. still warm eggs here. Not mad about that. All right, and next up is our roughage roll. We've got one lettuce and three green grapes. All right, well, lettuce is a non-issue. Okay, sorry to keep pausing, but I, another memory popped up. Chat, did you know that they make grapes that taste like cotton candy? Not necessarily what I would have picked for an egg and cheese sandwich, but it's not going to hurt anything. Green grapes, on the other hand, is an interesting concept. They do have a certain tartness to them that might pair with... I think they're literally called ca cotton candy, candy grapes. Great sweet thing. That, but I also feel like I feel like I've never had them, but I, I, if I ever did have them, I feel like that would be like the most capitalistic thing I've ever eaten, where they turned grapes into tasting like Canada, Canada candy. 
not not Canada flavored crepes. Candy. <laughs> Would that just be maple flavor? <laughs> well, maybe. Maple syrup flavored grapes. <laughs> to them, that might pair with savory foods better than just a straight sweet thing. But I also feel like breakfast sandwiches are where a sweet element sometimes works. All right, well, wild magic might change all that. We'll find out. Nine, pickle seasoning. All right, well, now we have pickled grapes. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll find out if that's going to be okay. And last but not least, we have the D20 sauce roll. 11, Melinda's Green Sauce. This green sauce is a mild hot sauce with green tomatoes, jalapenos, cilantro, and garlic. It's really great on eggs, so that's good. Let's get our sandwich closed up here and get our toothpicks in to hold it together. I'm just gonna cut it right here on the plate. A soft bread plus runny egg, it's, it's gonna be hard to hold together. Let's take a look at that cross section. <laughs> All right. I don't know how I feel about it. Well, it's gonna be a messy one for sure. And the great, it's driving me nuts that I didn't rip off that little piece. Rip off the little piece. Rip off the little piece. Oh my god. Hmm. You know, I thought this might be worse. It's actually not that bad. The grapes aren't overwhelmingly sweet. With the pickle seasoning, they're kind of just like a little bit more sweet than like bread and butter pickles. Everything else works together pretty well. I think I can confidently give this one an 8.7. And I'm going to call higher it than I thought. But I, th I thought it was going to be pretty good. I hope you all have an incredible weekend and I'll see you on Monday. I thought that was actually going to be pretty good. That actually didn't look that bad. All right. Again. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok and beyond. And welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I like always eats the whole thing, no matter what, Let's good or go. bad. Today, I'm using this custom resin dice set made for me by Mercenary Otter Dice. Thanks. All right. First up, cool. let's roll for bread. It's cool. People send him stuff Three, like that. Garlic Texas toast. Garlic bread is my favorite food. I could honestly eat it for every That's meal. That's really small. I eat it all the time without even stopping. I thought to I thought Texas toast was much bigger. Am I am I just misremembering it? Next up, let's roll for Maine. Two buck stick. This buck stick, as it were, is essentially a summer sausage made with venison and pork. While deer meat is typically very lean, the addition of the pork brings in some fat and kind of balances it out as a sausage. It's pretty tasty. I, I now, want, I'm, I'm into it. I want to try it. Six provolone. Nothing wrong with some provolone, and that slight smoky flavor will pair well this with the awesome. sausage. Next up, let's add a little roughage. One lettuce and nine green onions. Got romaine lettuce today. Get it on here. Add a little bit of crunch, but that's about it. I'm, I'm still if in. If you're looking closely, you may have noticed that it said shallots on my list and not green onions. My list is wrong because oh. what I have today is green onions. Not only that, but the sign at my grocery store was wrong. And after a little research, these are indeed green onions and not shallots. Oh. Next up, we've got Wild Magic. Nat 20. I'm going with bacon. Our summer sausage already contains pork and is kind of salty. So adding a little bit of bacon to that is not going to hurt. It's just going to be more of the same. All right. Last but not least, we have our D20 sauce roll. Uh, two marshmallow fluff. <laughs> Man, we really had something good going here today. But now, we're going to add. Oh food. no! Maybe. Oh maybe no! Uh, oh god! It's strong enough to balance this out, overpower it. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Let's get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together, and let's get it cut in half. Yo, thank you so much, Anonymous and Fluffy, for the gift. He's, I appreciate you guys. You guys are crazy. Oh, right. oh, no. Well, we are creeping up on episode 100 here with sandwich number 98. Let's see how it tastes. Huh. Well, I can definitely taste the marshmallow fluff, but it's not as overpowering as I expected. Honestly, the sausage and the bacon are pretty salty and kind of, kind of balance it out. Just brings in a little sweetness, like a honey ham or something. It's actually not all that bad. I think that garlic bread definitely helped too. I think I'm safe to put this one at a 7.2, and I'm gonna call it the Ba Humbuck. Well, I've got you. That's here. a little I better than I thought. That I am going to be the media guest of honor at Confusion Novi, a fantasy, sci-fi, and literature convention in Novi, Michigan, January 20th through 22nd. Check my website for details, and I'll see you later.